saying hello boys and girls. This is your old pal Uncle Al and hello everybody and good evening. Hi everybody. Uncle Al, it's hard to see. Okay. A little card right here. Squirrel. Joke. Hope you can read it. I can't because my eyesight's all screwed up. Okay, first thing is, oh, you have paper. I can't tell how strong the light is. Let's get the filter out. Yeah. I'm going on to cheat. Okay. Uh, today's video is updates. Uh, first, we've got to say hello to just in time prepping, Walker Outdoors, and Armadillo Ju Junction. Hi, RG. Now, uh, Uncle Alan's an old cowboy. Can't tell by the hat, uh, but uh, Uncle Alan will also have little difficulties. Truth of the matter, I have some brain leaves. So I'm sorry to LA Prepper because Uncle Alan uh, went stressed or for eye surgery or <coughs> for coughing my head off. Uh, sometimes it gets confusing. I don't have water or anything. Uncle Alan forgets things. Okay. Uh, sorry. I did it um, again. I'm trying to break the habit. Okay. Um, I know uh, RG, um, uh, Armadillo, Armadillo Junction. He does a little work, so does Will and Just in Time Prepping on his channel. He does a little work. I forget. SOS Survival does a uh, little work too. Uncle Alan's an old uh, cowboy. I mean, if you have a horse, you have tackle. And you have to always repair that one. So this is one of the old. Uh, you can see that. Hand stitched, hand stamped gun pocket. It was made for single action, but double action fit it. It's one of the old style, old gap, not a holster, gun pouch. It's wet form, so you can see the outline. It fits to my gun, and if I turn it like that, it won't fall out. And I learned that from an old Becero. So, like I said, I used to make these a lot, but uh, I kind of forget. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. So, yeah, Uncle Alan knows a little bit of leather work, but he forgets sometimes. Now, a lot of people buy those. This is for L. Stewart. I forget somebody else. Uh, Uncle Alan's reading thing. A lot of those little mess kits that you buy at Walmart, Ozark Farm, or Ozark, whatever. Uh, they're a Chinese company and they're a big ripoff. Uh, their products are not that good. And also on eBay when they say prepper, yes, prepper uh, survival pot or a bush pot. <coughs> That's not really what you're buying. I say this because I show people what they're actually buying. Okay, this is for prepper or boy scout. Now you see my Boy Scout pot. It's bigger than this. This barely cooks anything. It's a joke. All right. So those kits with those little pots, don't use them. Buy yourself a one quart or two quart real camping pot. Okay. It costs more, a lot easier. You don't get a headache. Plus the lid's a frying pan. Not this joke for 14 bucks. Okay? Don't get suckered in, folks. Yeah, let's go back again to the holster. All right, this is form fitted. I could put a single action, double action revolver, turn it over like this, and it won't fall out. Why? Because it's form fitted. Real cow high. Move, move. Okay? 
hand stamped by Old Uncle hand stitched. Uh, like I said, if you have horses and you got saddles and bridles and stuff, you got to fix the litter all the time. Okay, before I end this, uh, I think Jet001 was asking me, Uncle Alan, I'd like to hear some stories, okay? Back in the old days, long time ago when I was in Sacramento, this is what I used to carry. It's an old Gerber knife when they used to make knives. Real knife. Not the fake Chinese stuff they have nowadays. This has been with me for over 40 years. It's not wasp weighted. This is the original Gerber Mark II. Take a good look at that, boys and girls. And I'm glad I know still how knows how to handle it. I'm going to used to have an old, uh, how can he say it, back in the old days, he used to have an old friend who used, taught him how to use it. He used to know Korean martial arts. A long time ago, he got shut down over Nicaragua doing security work. I don't think nobody remembers his name. I have a couple of his books. But this is one of his favorite knives. And over the years, I went through knives, and I tend to forget about them. Either I lose them, or, you know, or somebody, or just, but I never throw a knife. But Like I said, Jeff, I keep forgetting things, what I used to do with my knives. But this is one of them. I tuck it away, and I pull it out once in a while to remember the old, good old days. Pretty good shape for 40 years and a lot of battlefields. I have the new sheath to it, but the old one, again, American made. So anyway, boys and girls, uh, that's all I'm going to cover tonight. Uh, like I said, Uncle Alan's vision's kind of wacky, and I've been taking a lot of meds for certain other things. So you have to forgive Uncle Alan. That's why he doesn't do live stream, because Uncle Alan's memory is kind of dingy sometimes. So anyway, um, if you heard a uh, YouTuber called Bush Radical, uh, his wife is Girl in the Woods, a really good uh, YouTuber. He's been on TV on alone, that TV show on National Geographic with his wife. He just did a YouTube video uh, called Two Dollar Survival Kit. I recommend everybody to check it out, please, and support his channel. Thank you very much, and good night, boys and girls. Make sure you like and subscribe to Old Uncle Al, aka Die Bullfrog 79, because I gotta remember what I'm doing right now. Okay, bye. Night.